For today's episode of Mousetrap Monday, I'm going to show you one of the craziest traps that's ever been invented. This Civil War era mousetrap consists of a wooden mouse with two razor sharp spring loaded harpoons that come shooting out its eyes. I'll show you step by step how to build it and then we're going to test it out in the barn and we'll feed the mice that we caught to wild animals at the beaver dam. So make sure you watch to the end because this is a really good episode. Did you know there's over 4,000 patents for mouse traps? And today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're going to test out one of the all time craziest. I first saw it in this book, The Gopher Mouse Rat and Mole Traps Price Guide, second edition, 1994. When I opened the page, I couldn't believe what I found. It has two diagrams of a mouse shaped trap with a spring loaded harpoon that comes shooting out of the mouse's head. It was patented by J.W. Ellis on April 13th, 1869, just after the Civil War. So we'll go ahead and do a patent search and learn more about this trap. It's a pretty simple process, especially if you already have the number. You just type it in the box, in this case, 88778, and hit the search button, and then click on images. Here are the original drawings for the trap, and down below are the inventor's signature. We'll go ahead and scroll back up and click the arrow button. On page two, we have the text of the patent. This is an early one and it's pretty short, just over a half a page. For reference, I went ahead and printed off the patent drawings. There's a nice side profile and two figures showing how the trigger system works inside. There's enough detail to make a working model, so let's go to the shop and start building. We'll start by carving the mouse shaped body for this trap from wood. For this project, I'm gonna use the best material I have, a very dense, slow growing tree I collected in the deserts of South Central Oregon, known as mountain mahogany. It's ideal for carving because the growth rings are so close together. This branch represents over 75 years of growth. To make the wooden blank for our trap, we're first gonna have to remove the bark and white wood. To do this, I'm gonna use a chisel. And then we'll secure the split log in a vise and plane it down with a hand planer. As the figure of our mouse takes shape, I switch out from a cutting to a sanding tool to work out the rough edges, and then I finish it with a fine grit sandpaper. To form the features such as the paws, ears, whiskers, and eyes of the mouse, I burn them in with a glowing hot piece of metal. So based on the patent drawings, we now have a wooden shell we can use to make our mouse trap. The next step is to make the spring-loaded trigger for the trap, which includes the piece that will be the tail, the harpoons that come out the eyes, and the piece the mouse steps on to release the spring. I'll form the two trigger components out of a square metal bar. We'll also need a thinner wire to make the two harpoons and to power the trap, we'll need a compression spring. I bought a compression spring variety pack at the Home Depot and one of them was the perfect size for what we need. So now that we have all the materials to make our trigger components, we'll go ahead and start shaping the metal. I found the patent drawings to be very helpful when making the trigger. The top piece, which will be the tail, has a hook in front and will fit in perfectly with the bottom latch. Now I modified it slightly to have a double trigger, one that's deeper and more secure and one that's shallow and much more sensitive. We're now ready to put all the components of the trigger system together. The compression spring fits on the top tail piece and to keep it from sliding forward, we'll insert the wire that will form the harpoons and then everything fits together in the groove in the bottom piece and when you pull it back, it latches together. And with the trigger complete, we now need to carve out the wooden mouse to fit everything inside.
And the final step is to sharpen the harpoons. After all that work, here's our completed trap. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Those harpoons are wicked sharp. They have great big barbs on the end. They come shooting out with quite a bit of force. Now the one thing about this trap is it's pretty difficult to set. It takes two hands. We'll go ahead and pull it. I had that on the sensitive trigger. I'll try to get it on the deeper one so it doesn't go off. There we go. Boy, don't get your fingers anywhere near the front. We'll put the bait right there. The mouse will come along face to face, touch it. That will go right in their brain. Our poor stuffed mouse. He's tested out a lot of traps, but I think this is the first time he's been harpooned. Now the question is, does it work with real mice? I'm gonna test it out, but I can't show on YouTube mice getting harpooned. We're gonna set up our mouse trap inside a cardboard paper towel roll. The mouse will go in the tube, take the bait on the trap, it will set off. That way we can still see the trap in action. So let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see if it works on real mice.